What up, y'all? We back. We at it. Um, I'm out here in the forest, as you can see. Um, the total uh, solar eclipse new moon in Aries was last night slash early this morning. And it was a catalyst for the initial plot point within the script of like the new unfolding story of our life. So that's pretty fun. Um, for me, uh, I witnessed some uh, big plot point energy over the last couple of days, probably continuing to. And um, it's been really fun and it's been interesting to see um, things shifting. And especially when I have messages telling me that things are going to be shifting and to be patient like they have been recently when it's been kind of hard to be patient and it's like okay when you start seeing it play out you're like oh okay well I'm glad I've been patient like I, okay like things are good things are you know so chin up Things are looking good. Um, I went ahead and pre-shuffled and pulled our cards since I am a human tripod right now. And I gotta say, things are looking good, you guys. Um, our first card was new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So since all these new cycles are starting, it's only natural that new cycles are gonna be starting within your love life and um, you know, within every area of your life. But this actual series of new moons, the full moon and this eclipse, um, we're really pinpointing um, and fine tuning like our new identity and our new identity in context to how we have been in relationships in the past and how we are now showing up in the new self in relationships now, like having transcending, you know, being in, this, in the midst of transcending old patterns. So it's all pretty cool, but yeah, so new opportunities are going to be presenting themselves to have new love patterns play out. And in order for that to happen, you kind of need to be interacting with people. So yeah, your love life could start uh, becoming more engaging. So you might be just having like a refreshed like feeling of like being playful and alive again. You may, um, I don't know, just feel like giving a dating app a chance one more time. You might have a flurry of options or opportunities, or you know, it might just be like someone new that comes into your life and you weren't expecting it. So yeah, hold out for hope. Also, yeah, just when we're manifesting, it's good to keep a general sense and not get attached to like a specific outcome or person that way we're not getting our will involved we're honoring our free will and that of another and also trying to align ourselves with the divine plan so we get really specific when it comes to the essence of what we want but we have to release and surrender the package the who the what the when and the how so Focus on the feeling that you want to be in and focus on things working out exactly the way that you hope. And don't allow for time and space and ego tricks to enter to get you off of your mindset and your heart set. And you wanna like choose the vibration that you wanna be at and practice sustaining yourself there. And so it doesn't matter what appearances seem kind of is all playing out just uh, in a way that keeps kind of expanding you to unfold, you know, in your unfolding consciousness. So focus on the blissfulness and let things unfold naturally. But one thing to keep your like kind of like vibration high is honeymoon card came out. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this card usually signifies like a good chance to uh, like have a chance to go on some adventures or spend some quality time with the person that you know this this new love interest or new love interests coming in or whatever it is um you might have a good chance to do some fun stuff together and get to know each other um don't be worrisome or neurotic or forceful about it let things unfold naturally because we've got let go of control issues 
So allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't um, fall prey to your temptations to accidentally have things rush themselves along just because you're tempted to want to spend a lot of time with a new person. Um, that's where you have to let a lot of space be there in the beginning so you kind of build like a solid foundation and you don't rush things too quickly. You know, just let things like develop gradually. Um, I think that's what the healthy thing is to do. I, that's what I hear. It'll be a new, new pattern for me. I'm an Aries, Libra, Rising, Cancer Moon. I'm like all like passionate and lovey-dovey and romantic and like, ooh, let's get cozy. Uh, but yeah, I'm shifting my patterns, so uh, not anymore. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, right, don't get up in your head about, is it working out, is it not, do I do this, do I do that? Like, don't think about any of that. Just focus on the result that you want playing out by ruminating in the feeling that you have as if it had. And so, you know, you just kind of get into that state of already being there, but like within the way that you feel and the way that you kind of show up to life and live as though it's already yours and act as though it's already yours and then the universe will be able to bring you what's like really in alignment with you um, when that thing is also in alignment. It's like mosquitoes are enormous. It's so funny because my bug spray told me like, take me with, me, with you. I made a bug spray out of uh, essential oils. And so the plant oils within the bug spray were like, you'll need me. And I actually did just use the bug spray, it was nice. So it's pretty much working, I haven't been bit. But yeah, so um, let go of control issues. Don't feel like you have to like force anything. Just like, yeah, let things play out naturally and enjoy and meander and savor the moment instead of just trying to like rush through all the fun phases, right? It's the fun phases in the beginning that you drag out slowly that build the tension, that build the desire, and it builds the investment that both of the parties put in that creates the emotional investment in the long run. So yeah, take your time, let go of control issues, don't overthink it, just be natural, just be authentic, and get clear on what you want very soon. So yeah, focus on the feeling of it all working out, and then just live your life as if it's already worked out and it'll be fine and everything will fall into place when it's the perfect moment, when the fruit is ripe for the pickings. So yeah, just be in absolute certainty that what is yours will be yours and rejection is God's protection and just be patient in the meantime and be you know easy and chill with life and have fun and be blissful and be in a state of peace and serenity and acceptance and everything will unfold naturally very soon as long as you stay focused on what you want to call in. Journal about it, talk out loud to the creator about it. We're saying our prayers. I was about to spend one leg of my journey with my um, headphones off or maybe just the, the uh, shaman drums because I was gonna pray out loud today on my path because I've noticed lately that when I do say my prayers out loud, it's like that, like I get like almost instant like feedback <laughs> and results. So yeah, um, I had a really fun time last night on my birthday. Uh, we had all kinds of delicious foods. Uh, we did not go to the place I had originally planned, but it all worked out. Everybody had a good time. Um, people joined. Um, we had all the the guests show up and have a good time, and everybody just uh, enjoyed themselves and it all just kind of played out nicely. So I was glad. A lot of good food, a lot of good company, a lot of good laughs. Uh, but yeah, anything else? Just like being neurotic about getting impatient, being in a state of anticipation can like, like you can be eager and, and have anticipation and then that can like get almost like to the like pitch of like, oh, I can't stand it any longer. Like, oh, the, the suspense is killing me kind of thing. Try to keep that in a positive frame of mind. Um, enticing, you know, tantalizing. Use those words to try to direct that energy in that way instead of being 
longing or impatient or anything like in that nature because that's going to be scarcity and that's going to be neediness and reaching and that's going to be very low vibration and it's going to throw you out of alignment and it's going to take longer it's not going to be very soon at all so yeah um uh, be relaxed be certain um be in love with your own life right now and everything will just kind of fall into place naturally all right y'all be good but not too good ciao